Hey, what's going on guys? Rulinell here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial. Holy crap, how many we got here? I don't know. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at another string function. We're going to check out string uh, dot center. Now, remember, we're using our dot selector here, and you're looking at the string data type, so you're really just uh, centering a string. Um, we're going to be checking it out and trying to recreate it in our, as our own, and then we're going to import a new module, import math. So it's going to be your first time taking a look at, with more module-based stuff. So uh, let's get idle ready, and we can get started. I'm going to save this as uh, file.python. Actually, I don't know. What sh should I call this something else? I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking grandma. Grandmother Python. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Whatever. User bin environment python. Let's get a class going here. Base. Define. Init. Self. Get some code blocks. We can uh, actually set a string variable, self.string this is a string oh, oh, what are we doing here, idle? alright, so now we're gonna do a conditional statement if name is equal to main with root, not fruit fruit is our base object Alright, now, let's get started here. Let's take a look at what we can do, first of all. We can do self.string, and then dot .center is the function that we're going to be looking at. And now what it would do is you would take in an argument for, like, the width, or how much of it you wanted to be centered. So let's just try, like, 40. If we, uh, if we print this out, we'll be able to take a look at what we're trying to recreate here. So, this is a string. What if we tried it with quotations, so we can, so I can show you how much it is centered? We're gonna get some single quotation marks here, concatenate that on, and concatenate another single quotation set. So we have a quotation mark here, and then a quotation mark over here, and it's separated by all this white space. So what we've done is we've centered the string that we took as an argument, and put it in the center of this, uh, this 40 character long string. So then when we pass in that 40, it's really con considering that width from here to here, including the white space. So now we're going to try and recreate that all on our own. First, we are going to need to import math, because we're going to be able to use some new functions here. We're going to have to look at the floor of a division and that sort of thing and get like the, the number lower. But hey, let's give it a go. Now that we can import math, we can, uh, we've already done that. We can create a new function here called center. We're going to need to pass in that self keyword, obviously. In our case, we'll be using the string and uh, the width. So let's get that code block started, and we can do something new here. We can do string length. We can set that equal to the length of the string that we've been passed. So we have an integer variable here, and now we can use a ground cover. You can name this variable whatever you want, I just think ground cover sounds kind of cool, and it makes a little bit of sense, I guess. What you're going to do is you're going to do width, and then minus, or at least subtract, the string length. So we're going to take that 40 that we might pass in, and then we're going to take a look at all this, and then we're going to divide that in half. So what we do here is we say sides equals the integer form of math.floor, now, math.floor, see, we're using our module here, we're using math, and we're going to use our dot selector to get, a f to get a function out of there, and floor is going to round down to the nearest integer. It's actually, it saves it as a float, or at least it'll return a float to you, so you have to cast it or convert it with this integer function. That's what we're doing here wrapped around there. So inside the math floor function, though, we do ground cover, which is the difference between uh, that width and the, and the string length, and then we can divide that by 2. So now if we just quickly print out size to see what we're working on, we can comment out this one up here, and we can do print. Actually, we don't need to print anything. We can just run um, self.center. We can do self.string, and then we'll pass in 40. Now if we run this, we get 11. So in our case, it's going to have this. And you divide, you subtract 40 from that. You subtract the, the width of the string. So you have, sorry, 40 subtract everything that's in here, and then you divide that by 2, you so you have these surrounding areas right here. And since these are just space characters, what we're going to be able to do is return sides, or that number of uh, white space characters, 
sides times a string of spaces, and then we concatenate on the, um, let's see, string variable that we've been working with, and then we're going to do the same thing again on the other side. So now when we print this out, if we concatenate on some quotation marks again, add that there and we run this, we have this is a string. And we have our quotation mark on one end and then the white space in between. And all these. So if we print the normal function along with that, we can see how well we did. This is a string, this is a string. It looks like we only have one space off. So it looks like that means that they use the seal function. Sides equals integer math.seal, or S-E-I-A. There we go. E-I-L. And we use ground cover, just that same one here. Ground cover divided by two. And this will round it up. And this is a string. Okay. Maybe that's not what they've done. But, you know, we don't know for sure. <laughs> I do recommend, as always, using the one that they brought in using the function that they have created because you just kind of should use that because they've obviously taken some preliminary measures or something to make it that to make that the best and most easiest function ever or at least the way that it can be it's in its most pristine shape so don't use anything that we've created here when you're actually writing code but I just want to show you guys a way that it could be done or at least get you guys thinking about okay you can actually dissect some of the things that have that have already been offered for you so if we uh, we can switch back this one here, we don't have to worry about the top one. See if we run this, we get exactly what we wanted here: a string centered in a width of 40 characters. And obviously, we can change this, change the 40 to be whatever we wanted. We can just say like 60 or something. This is a string. You can see it's wider. If we change it to uh, 80, you can see it's even wider. It's actually spanned, spanned across another line. So you can do a lot of interesting things with this, I suppose, if you want to just center a string and maybe make a nice little visual output. And here's how it works, or at least one way it could work on the back end. So uh, that's all, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.